I've always, always. Hello? Oh, okay. So I've always, I've always, always, always been in love with this photo, this Hot Wheels belt, loved it. Been obsessed, right? But I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I was thinking like, what if I did this concept, but like kind of included a little bit of me in it, which is like me being from New York and taxis. Cause taxis are cars. I could do a, car, a taxi car belt instead of a Hot Wheels belt. There's New York City souvenir stores all around New York. And I know that they have the New York City taxi. So I went to one on 34th street and they didn't have any small ones though. Like they only had the really big ones, which is the one I used for the photo shoot. I ended up using it but I really wanted like the size of the Hot Wheels. They don't have it. And their cars are actually expensive. They're like five to $10 for each car compared to the Hot Wheels. I think they're about like a dollar per car. So I was like, oh my goodness. I walked out the store cause I'm like, it's too big. I'm not going to do it. And then I was looking on Amazon. My mom said to get a, my mom, she said to look up. She knew the name. It's like a switch, a switch. It's a name that she used for small cars that they use for small cars. And I Googled it and they actually did have it, but it's expensive, you know? And I probably would need about like 20, 30. And I was just like, okay, that might be too expensive for me to do, but maybe I could like check another store. And all the stores in New York City were expensive for the taxis and they all had the big ones. So then we was walking on, um, I believe on 7th Avenue and there was a guy who had his table outside of, all New York City souvenirs, like keychains, stuff like that. And he also had the New York City taxis, but he had like five for $20 compared to the actual souvenir store, like the actual brick and mortar, the actual store was like $5. It was like $10 each instead of $5 each. It was a crazy jump in price. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to do it. And I'm just going to have the cars lay horizontally instead of vertically. So now I had to do research on how to get this car to stay on the belt because I saw some people use glue and I saw some people use um, fishing line. So I was thinking of using glue, but my mom, this is my mom's belt. I don't own belt, so I had to use her belt and she loves this belt. So I could never glue anything onto this belt. So I knew I had to use fishing line. So I saw this video on TikTok and what they did was took fish line and they just wired it into the wheels of the, of the car and then tied it to the belt. So that's what I did. I wrapped it around like three or four times. Now my taxi is super heavy. So I made sure I had to like really get it stuck in there, make sure it was tight. And it actually really did work. Like it actually stayed, it was just crazy. So that's how I made the belt. But then once I made the belt, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna do the photo shoot in front of a taxi. Cause that would make sense. That'll be really cute aesthetic. And I said, something else is missing. Like something is missing. I know I'm gonna wear a two piece black leather outfit cause leather, goes great with this whole aesthetic of a taxi. And I already had the top, I've been had this top. I got this top from Goodwill in LA like five years ago and I ordered the skirt from Amazon. So now I'm like, I wanna do like a chain. Like I feel like I have a belt. Now let me do like another accessory that I could customize and make New York taxi. So I did the chain and I also use fishing line to tie it to the chain. Now this chain is from my friend's brand, Blade LA. Now the license plate idea came about because I was thinking like, okay, well, how can I personalize this? Like there's license plates on cars. I could get a Brooklyn license plate and then put it on the chain. So I found this really, really small Brooklyn license plate on Amazon too. And I was like, okay, so to make it stay on the chain, I need to drill a hole. So I asked my dad to drill a hole into the license plate. So now I had to think of location to do the photo shoot because there are taxis everywhere in Manhattan and New York City, but some places are, a cuter aesthetic or less busy than other places. Like I would never do this in Soho. It's way too crowded. And so I was thinking like a more like calm area. And to me, um, where the Museum of Natural History is, it's just like so calm. It's so peaceful over there. It's right near Central Park. Like it's not as busy. So that's where we did it. I think we, we took the train, like the Q train to like 86th Street, I believe. And then once I got out, I changed. So I put on the skirt, I put on the, the belt and I put on the chain and a taxi just stopped. I think he saw my outfit and was like, do you need my service? Like, you know, so it just happened perfectly. And then he pulled over and that's how we did the photo shoot. My mom's best friend actually took the pictures for me and I use it. Um, I use a speed light flash just to give an extra like little brightness to the photo shoot. 
we were fast because we didn't want to take too long with him because we, you know we, we, we are holding up his time i did pay him but just to get the shoots i know i wanted a picture in front of the car a picture opening a door like i knew the certain aspects like the certain poses i wanted to get so once i got those it was done so that's how this whole photo shoot came about it came from this hot wheels belt that i saw then i was thinking of like new york city then i was thinking of taxis then i was thinking of location and i was everything i love just like compiling different aspects and putting it into one concept so yeah that's how this photo shoot came about bye